Welcome, this is the 7th uh, grade TCAP practice test for math. Uh, question number 22. Which statement best describes the slope of the line shown? Now there's a couple things we need to think about. Number one, the word slope. And what slope represents? Slope represents change. It's how things change over time. So slope is not something that's set in time. There's no specific uh, value that's attached to slope, it helps, it's like a slide rule, it helps you change things over time. So when you see the word slope, you better be talking about change. Let's look at the axis labels, that'd be the words next to the, la uh, next to the axis. So on the y-axis, I've got the number of gallons. On the x-axis, I've got the number of cups. So the relationship it's showing me is uh, how many cups are in a gallon, or how many gallons in a cup, whatever. Uh, and when we're talking about slope, we're definitely going to talk about rise over run. Uh, it's kind of like Super Mario. I don't know if you ever played that game. In Super Mario, he's got these steps sometimes, especially the old ones. If you keep running Mario over and over into the step, he's never going to get over them. You have to remember to jump before you go over. So just like uh, Mario, slope also starts with an M when they use it as a variable. So anyway, we need to talk about going up versus going over. So let's just figure that out. The easy way to get the slope in this case is to find two points on our graph that are at the edges of these little boxes here. So here's one and then here's another. So what I'm going to talk about is how much I have to go up to get from one to the other. So in this case, the, uh, the scale here, each one of these marks means one because I go from zero to two and there's a mark in the middle, da 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 da, that's one. So to go from here to here, which is exactly on the level as the dot, I'm going to go up one. Then I talk about how much I go over. So I go over two of those little marks, but in that case, we have to look at the actual scale itself. And unfortunately, I covered the scale, so I need to mark that out. I'm going from 30 to from 16 all the way up to 32. So to figure out how much I go over or run, I need to do 32 minus 16. 32 minus 16 is 16. Now, I'm going to put up on the top and over on the bottom. So my slope is one up for every 16 that I go over. Now I'm going to use that information to determine which statement below matches that 1 16th I'm talking about. And let's just go ahead and label it. Uh, the 1 represents gallons and the 16 represents cups. So for every 1 gallon I get 16 cups. Now F says the slope represents the number of gallons in 48 cups. The slope absolutely does not represent that. In 48 cups the number of gallons is equal to 3. So 3 represents that number. But the slope itself doesn't have anything to do with it. Uh, so F is out. G, the slope represents the number of cups in 6 gallons. Once again, I would have to extend this line up here and you get to 96 and you'll find out that it matches 6. But a single point does not represent slope. Slope represents change. So it can't be fenced in by the whole number of 6. So that can't be it. Now H says the slope represents the number of cups per gallon. If you see that word per there, that's a good thing. That means things are changing because I could change one number and as long as it uh, goes up by the same proportional amount, the other number will match itself. But in this case, that per means divide and it shows cups per gallon. Well that looks pretty good except for the fact that in our slope here, gallons are on top and cups are on the bottom. So H is out. J, on the other hand, rep has that per in there, which means divide, and has that whole feeling of change to it. And it says gallons per cup. And our slope is one gallon per 16 cups, so that totally works for me. The gallons is on top, cups is on the bottom. It's got the whole feel of change. So the answer to number 22 is J.